Good day, gentlemen and ladies. Today we're Saturday, the 12th of March, and it's still snowing outside. So uh, yes, it's gonna be another tractor snow therapy video. However, at the end of this video, I want you to uh, look at the end of the video because I'm going to show. Uh, there's a great gentleman from uh, Prince Edward Island. And he showed me a couple of pictures of his uh, garden tractor collection that you see in, in the back. And I will have, uh, I'm gonna zoom out all these uh, pictures integrated in, inside the video. And he's, he also, uh, his family were, uh, he had a veteran from the Second World War, so I'm gonna go much in detail with that. Now, let's go uh, on the side of my window to show you uh, how much snow um, I'm, I'm currently having again. All right, so this is my uh, front window for my living room and uh, as you can see <laughs> There's a lot of snow and it's still snowing and uh, Yeah, I Don't know if you uh, look at the at the height of the snow bank <laughs> so uh, uh, Last night and it's it's gonna almost cease of snowing maybe two or three more centimeter of snow That's it. Look at the truck of uh, my good friend uh, Geta, hello Geta. Uh, so I've got about a good uh, total, roughly 10 to 15 centimeter. It was a very light snow because it's currently minus seven right now. But uh, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> uh, the thing I'm a little bit scared a little bit is uh, they calling definitely for warmer weather at the end of this week, but a lot of rain. So uh, we'll see from there, all right? It's been a while I didn't include the, the dogs in the videos, but they are, they're doing fine. They just came back from their morning walk and uh, their belly is full of water and food. And now they're gonna have a nice sleep, their morning sleep, And but uh, yeah, <laughs> they're very good puppies. All right, cheers. Good day, gentlemen and ladies. As uh, all my video, I have uh, always a tip on your uh, tractor before I do the snow plow video. Uh, on today, uh, I just ask you what type of security system that you have for protect your all your investment and then not only your tractor, your uh, all the tools that you have protecting that. Uh, you have a good neighborhood. Uh, do you have uh, an alarm system? Did you uh, create? not take the access to your keys do you lock your door only electrically or you put some uh, bobby traps into the rails like vice grip and stuff like that like to not to keep the process of getting still your stuff but to take longer time to create noise and that's how they get cut just remember if you can't stop if it, if it takes more than uh, less than 15 minutes, the, the robber won't consider even to touch anything because it does create noise. So uh, just food for thought, just think about that. What type of security uh, do you have? A good locking door mechanism? Do you have a uh, steel in front of uh, your windows? I mean, there's no perfect solution. Depends where you live, but just consider that. All right, uh, and it's not only for robbers, there's also a safety aspect of, too, for like a fire extinguisher, a first aid kit, stuff like that. So just think about that, all right? Cheers.
I just put my tractor just on the, on the side to let to show you. I had to use my front blade to cut off the front snow banks because the snowboard was not high enough to cut it. <laughs> so uh, time to clean up. Just a safety tip warning. Before you attempt clean up your snowblower, you have to make sure that your either your engine is off before putting a hand or a good broom in there. I never recommend putting a hand either uh, with the engine ro uh, running. If you put your hands like that, shut off the engine, no matter what. Understood? Now, see? Now, if you do like me, keep the engine running because they need to cool down, what I do is two important things. First of all, the most important one, make sure you put your, le your PTO lever in a way that if by somehow the electric connection switch on, even if the PTO is running, you won't activate the rear. So this one, it's the mid position, it's the up. So if by mistake, again, the PTO electric switch activate, you won't activate the rear one. But that's why I use a broom. Never put your hands when the engine is running. Uh, it's running, warning, all right? The other thing I make sure, obviously, the PTO is switches off. Never rely on the electric switch only. Always put in the mid PTO. So that why that's for some reason again the switch switch on you're safe. And never put your hands in there with the engine running. I think I said enough. All right. So please be safe. Take care of yourself and enjoy life. It's snowing. And like I said, they're calling for a lot of rain at the end of this week. So that's why I, uh, I made sure that the, the street drain was open. And uh, that should be it.
What? You're still working? It must be something wrong. Oh, yes, it's only minus four degrees Celsius. So that's why you're still working. All right, cheers. And yes, of course, that uh, ham sandwich uh, aluminum foil wrap helped. <laughs> Hello, James. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> <laughs>